If you can't beat them, take away their power. That's what a newly elected State Board of Education member is saying about a Republican-backed proposal that would strip away most of the authority and duties of the State Education Board. Senate Bill 178 was proposed after Democrats won enough seats on the Board of Education to hold the majority. Well, they're seizing more power in the power shifting that's going on and literally taking away the voice of the people. Former state Senator Teresa Fetter is one of three Democrats who captured seats on the State Board of Education, giving Democrats seven of the 11 elected seats. One week later, Republican Bill Reinecke introduced Senate Bill 178. It would dramatically reduce the authority of the board and shift power to a new cabinet level agency. We were elected. We're now the majority on the board, and it seems suspicious that all of a sudden now they have this plan. The new agency would be created and controlled by the Republican governor and Republicans who hold a supermajority in the legislature. Our children deserve strong educations that prepare them for their futures, and we must ensure that the state system for overseeing the process is transparent, accountable, and effective in this critical mission. In fact, it is our obligation. Reinecke says his bill will improve outcomes and get students more career ready. Well, let's remind the voters in 600 plus school districts that Republicans have been in charge of public education for over 30 years, minus four years with the Strickland administration. And we're now ranking in the 30s for education. And now they're gonna just seize this power, democracy away from the people and put it in a layer of bureaucracy in the cabinet. And I know one thing since my 22 years serving as a legislator, the more the people are away from the public view and oversight, the likelihood of corruption and misspending and malfeasance happens. All we have to do is look at the charter school example. Fetter says there's no oversight or accountability for charter schools. And this plan could mean the same thing for public schools. This is something that deserves the full vetting of a bill in the process with the public watching. Fetter, who is a former teacher, says the bill should be subject to public scrutiny with hearings and a chance for testimony. But she says she fears it will be pushed through during the lame duck legislative session with no input from the public, from teachers or local school boards.